wanted so much to have this mutual interview, and now at last we are doing it. Fine. Yeah. Great. So we're here at last, um, and your, um, your, your dream has come true. Do you think that you were an artist from day one? Did you always think that you were an artist? Um, no, not really. And unlike you, uh, uh, I don't have any uh, artists among my family or ancestors. So, in a way, I'm a uh, black sheep of the family, in a good sense of the word. <laughs> um, I, um, uh, when I was a child or a teenager, um, I had no idea whatsoever that I would ever start painting, and that, I, that I would become uh, an artist. Uh, it, uh, it kind of happened uh, about seven years ago, when I felt this uh, uh, strong desire to, uh, to try. Uh, it took me, well, it took me 50 years <laughs> uh, to, uh, uh, to want to, uh, to try that. It had, well, probably it has always been inside me, but I wasn't uh, aware of that. Uh, so, well, seven years ago, I uh, first uh, took uh, paints, brushes, canvas, and uh, uh, and try to paint, but it took me a whole year before uh, it dawned upon me that I want to paint. Uh, it took me a whole year to actually pluck up my courage and uh, uh, and do it in real terms. No, Tanya. Obviously, you know, art is a big passion of yours. How did it come that you? realize that this is the essence of your life, the painting and being in the art world. How can you account for it? Uh, well, it had been sort of uh, brewing up inside me for a while. I think it took me so long to start because I needed to, to build up my personality first and to share something with the world. Uh, you need to, um, uh, to have it inside you to, uh, to feel the need to uh, open up and um, uh, give it to the world. Do you start out with a precise idea when you start an art piece? Apparently you paint, you paint only and exclusively oil on canvas. Uh, this is generally considered to be the top echelon of what an artist can do, and historically it was so because the old masters, the great masters, usually did their uh, greatest pieces all on canvas. So what is actually your idea when you start out? When you have the white canvas before you, what are your feelings? Well, as for oils, it so happened that uh, that was the first thing I tried in painting. Uh, maybe um, I went from the, uh, from the wrong end, but it so happened that my first picture was, in, was oil on canvas. Later on I tried watercolors and acrylic and uh, pastel. Uh, but uh, I realized that uh, oil is the right thing for me. And for example, watercolor, watercolors, that's not my cup of tea. I, uh, so I think I will stick to oil. Um, uh, well, as for the other question, uh, well, I draw my ideas and inspiration from uh, different things. And, uh, it may happen that I have uh, a clear idea of what I want to paint, and then I go ahead and do that. Um, sometimes it comes to me in a dream, and when I wake up, I see in, in, on my inner inside screen, uh, in my inner screen, uh, 
uh, what I will put on canvas later on. Sometimes it can, um, I see a beautiful landscape and I know I'm going to, uh, to paint that uh, at some point. So I take a, a photograph and, uh, so that I have a, a photo uh, to bring the memories back. How long does a piece of art take you to do? That varies. Um, that varies a lot. Um, sometimes I do um, uh, a picture in, uh, in one, at one city, so to speak. It's like uh, Alia Prima, uh, and so I start and finish three hours, and it's done. But sometimes it takes uh, uh, it takes months. So I. Uh, I start the picture and then I uh, there may be breakups, uh, uh, some pauses before I come back to it. Uh, the, uh, the longest it took me was uh, a whole year. That was when I was painting a portrait of my daughter. That's the first and only portrait uh, among my works, and. Uh, it, uh, I set out doing that, uh, did it for a while, then uh, there was a kind of, um, uh, I stopped, I, uh, I thought I would never finish that, so I put it aside and uh, in a year's time um, I came back to that and did finish it eventually. So, uh, but normally it doesn't take that long. So it was uh, maybe I'm not a portraitist uh, uh, by nature. Uh, my uh, uh, daughter asked me to, to do that. I, otherwise, I would have never uh, thought to even try. And uh, well, she liked that, and that's the most important thing because it was a present, uh, my birthday present to her. Uh, well, well, normally I finish. Picture within one in most cases. Tanya, tell me a little bit what your dream is. Did you ever dream of something as an artist? Hmm. Um, well, I think uh, uh, I, I, well, I, uh, I'm thinking of uh, doing bigger sizes now. Uh, 32 but then I felt I was a novice in art, I was, uh, I was a professional artist, and so I uh, I was quite happy doing 32 40 pieces. But uh, as time went on, I felt they were too small for me, so I started with uh, bigger sizes, I moved to 50, and now I'm. Uh, the biggest I have at the moment is uh, like 60 to 80. Oh no! Uh, well, my biggest piece uh, ever, uh, my the biggest piece so far, is my uh, so-called module picture. It's uh, a big work, but it consists of six uh, uh, small ones, uh, 40 to 50. Uh, each uh, picture is uh, uh, a picture in itself, but yet together they make up a uh, bigger one. Yeah, that, that's really the biggest I've done so far. And uh, I have a feeling that uh, I, in, in the future, I would like to paint a really big picture. Uh, as for the idea, it's still warming up in my head. Uh, I don't know what uh, it's going to be, but now I really want to paint a big, a big picture. Uh, I like uh, those uh, small ones I've uh, been doing so far. That's as for sizes, and as for the dream, any dream really. A lady should have dreams, you know. Yes. Men expect ladies to be romantic, to be dreaming, daydreaming. <laughs> oh, daydreaming. Oh, yeah, I love that. Daydreaming, yeah. That's, um, that's what I'm doing. Uh, coming back to dreams. Yeah, I'll, uh, 
Hey, I have a dream. Uh, I want to go to Australia and New Zealand and do some plein air um, painting there. Well? I bet that would be an impressive result, really. Well, I hope so, yeah. Uh, it's, um, I don't know uh, uh, how realistic it, it is, but I mean, if you really have a dream, um, and uh, yeah, it's bound to happen. Yeah, I look, I'm looking forward to that. Really. What are your latest artworks? What, what, what's new uh, on your easel? Um, well, uh, over the uh, last year, uh, I painted uh, a couple of pictures that uh, were and are unusual. Uh, for me, it was, um, uh, on the one hand, they were bigger than before in size and also they were more like um, uh, philosophic and uh, abstract. Not, not, uh, not uh, entirely abstract pictures, but symbolic and philosophic ones. Uh, uh, they're now exhibited um, um, they're now on exhibition, and you, I think you've seen them uh, at the opening. Um, uh, that was uh, something that um, one of the, uh, the, the ideas just came to me. I wanted to, uh, I woke up one day and I realized I wanted to, um, uh, to paint, well, what I call eternity in uh, action or eternity in movement. Uh, and uh, though uh, it's partly figurative because uh, it shows um, uh, uh, to be fish, but it's not just uh, fish, it's uh, the symbol of uh, eternity. So it's partly figurative, partly symbolic. Uh, well, this is something new. And uh, uh, two other pictures of the same kind are uh, the, uh, the new sun, um, uh, or the birth of a star, uh, which is done in uh, dark blue and yellow. Like, well, it seems like it's, uh, these are my uh, favorite colors at the moment. Maybe it has something to do with, with the work of my um, uh, and, um, centers, my chakras. Um, well, and uh, the third picture is uh, 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 harmony. I called it harmony and it's about um, uh, the unity and interaction of uh, male and female um, sides of a human being. You must have some uh, favorite pictures. Is there anything favorite you could pinpoint? Favorite? Yeah. That, that dog, you know, that oh, got dog. out of... Oh, yes. oh, 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 yeah, oh. after the rain, yeah. After the rain. The picture called after the rain. That shows Everybody loves that. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it's, um, it shows a dog. Uh, that uh, brushes away um, uh, water drops uh, after getting wet in the rain and looking very happy. Well, this, yeah, it's one of my favorite, that's true. And uh, it's unusual uh, because it was painted with fingers. Oh. I didn't use brush or, oh. uh, well, I just used my fingers and, and paint. And I did that. I, I really love that. I, I have several other pictures uh, uh, painted with fingers and I love this technique very much. It's, it's a different kind of feeling. It's like uh, uh, communicating with the canvas more directly um, uh, without their, uh, well, without brushes or without was the palette the knife. Was that the single picture in your life that you did with your fingers? No, no, it's not the only one. Um, I have several others. Um, uh, by the way, the, the, the big one I, I, I was talking about before, um, uh, the model picture, it's also painted with fingers. 
no brush, no palette knife, uh, nothing, just fingers and paint and canvas. Tanya, what are your upcoming exhibitions? Upcoming, well, I because have two, right now you have got two yeah, exhibitions running. Yeah, I've got two running, running up in parallel at the same time. So, uh, to be honest, I um, I haven't given it any thought, but... Um, well, I wish you as many exhibitions um, as it goes. Well, thank you, yeah, well, I, uh, uh, I have to think about that, but as... Uh, my print exhibitions are running till the end of November, so I'll start thinking about that a little late.